I'm not at that point anymore. You know, I'm at a, I'm at a different place. I'm at a different place in my life where the, the, the least trick, you can't trick me with that. You just can't. Because I know better. I know better. And uh, I hope anybody who does that type of stuff does see success and everything like that. I was just not for me. And I'm not here to change your mind. So you do what you're going to do. And I wish you the best. But that ain't what I'm interested in right now. You know, I, I basically, when I went in <sighs> to the yard on the outskirts of town, you know, and I seen all the different tractors they had and everything like that. And they were um, they were basically talking to me about why they should, you know, why they should hire me. And I just told them I'm looking for something I can do for the next 25 years. All the way to retirement. I'm looking for something I can do for the next 25 years. You know, I mean, I, I want a long haul situation. I want to be here for the rest of my working career. That's what I'm interested in doing. You know, job stability, income stability, benefits, stability, the whole, I want the whole ride because I've never really had nothing like that. You know, I've done jobs here and there, but they never were to the point where it's something that can sustain a whole life. Yeah, there's money and I've made some money and all that type of stuff, but it's, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like having, how do I say this? It's not like having, do I want to say backing? Slow your tail down, fool. It's not like having, you know, the backing. To know that my, um, you know, I, I got, I got backing. I, I don't know the way to put that. Is this? It's like when you're in something like this, you know, people have your back. You, you, you're, you're, you're straight. There's so many benefits to doing it that I can't, at, at 36 years old, I can't deny it. And it, it, it leaves me feeling like I should have did it when I was 18. You know, I should have did it when I was 18. I should have went and found a union CDL job when I was 18, because you can. You know, I could have did it when I was uh, 18 and I'd be, I'd be 16 years in, 16, 17 years in to my pension already. You know, so I, that, you know, that's what, that's how I'm looking at it. You know, I just didn't, I just didn't know no better, dog. I, I ain't no other way to put it. And I know I, I get a lot of slack because I come on here and I tell y'all how I really feel at the time. And sometimes, you know, a person could be like, oh, well, you should have known. Man, listen, bro. 18? I won't worry about none of that, bro. I was worrying about drugs and cheeks. That's it. Drugs and cheeks. And not particularly in that order. I wasn't worried about stability. Or neither have I heard that word in, 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 in all the people who so-called was trying to help me out and give me advice about life. I didn't hear I didn't hear that word a lot, stability. You know, try try you know, try to be stable. I didn't hear that word. Most people say I just get a job. They didn't explain it like that. Like, oh, you know, when you get to a certain age, this is going to matter. They didn't explain it like that. No one, no one even explained it in the, you know, the you could be done by 40 speech. You didn't get that because a lot of the young bucks who watch, you can be done by 40. You know, there's cats in your in your in your city. Who got in either it was the crane union where they uh, where they do crane work. Who got in the. Um, who got in the, the, the crane union or, or, or something like that. Uh, 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 heavy operators. Some bulldozer do a lot. Some of them dudes in the union, a lot of construction union. Who got in, they getting that joint 17, 18 years old, bro. 
17, 18 years old. You know? They make you foreman by 30, 30 something years old. Probably before that. You know what I mean? So it's like, by the time you even start getting to the age where you care about retiring and all that type of stuff, they almost out. They almost out, bro. They almost out. You know, that's why that's why it helps to you know, it helps to be in a family where these are the ideals that are important. You know, where it's not just about, you know, material things, getting a nice house, getting a nice SUV and everybody respecting you. It's not about that surface crap where you in there with somebody who, you know, who really took took care of your family with this and you're around it and exposed to it. Like I said, the truth is uh, 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 most kids end up doing what their parents do because that's where all of their connections are. You know, that's where their connections are in, in the first place. That's where they dad can get them a job. That's where, you know, so if you you work at this crane union, you've been going to these. uh, You hear me? You've been going to these these uh these crane situations since you were five, six, seven years old. You know, the, the freaking, the, um, well, the, 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 the foreman, your dad's foreman knew you when you was a kid and who in turn turns into the supervisor over the region when your dad turns into the foreman and, you know, this and that. When you turn, you know, 17, 16, 17, 18. And your dad is talking to his buddy, and his buddy is like, "Oh my God, we need people, bro. We need, we need people everywhere, man. We just need, we need people right now. It's a big boom in building, or whatever. Or people aren't particularly into going into the manual labor, so we're short. It's like, all right, well, you know, uh, uh, John, you know, he'll be turn, he'll be graduating high school this week." All right, well, if he graduate high school, tell him to throw the application in. We'll get him in and fast track him. That's how that joint work, bro. But the reason why it doesn't really, the reason why America really doesn't push it, because now it's this whole, this whole push of, of you finding your own way type situation. And half the time, the kids don't listen to their parents anyway. So when they dad try to put them on, my stepfather put me on, bro. Like, don't get it twisted, bro. I was one of those kids. Who didn't listen? My stepfather put me on, bro, with the Teamsters Union at 18. Technically, like 16, 17, because I was a jumper. Yeah, my stepfather used to take me on his on his truck as a jumper um, for UPS, which was Teamsters Union at the time. I think it's still Teamsters Union. Yeah, yeah, I was in. I was, bro, I was in, bro. But I was I was I was a I was a kid, an American kid, not listening to his parents, and I um, you know, I I, I messed it up. I messed it up. Seventeen, eighteen year old, I messed it up. He got me once I officially got out of high school. He got me a job at UPS. Um, you know, uh, being a being a, a, a loader. Well, I would load the trucks. You understand? And, you know, I was smoking weed in the parking lot, bro. I was, I was just, I was just an idiot, man. There ain't no other way to put it, bro. Hardly making it to work, leaving early, going in there, hiding a goose rocket. I was in there. And he got my cousin in, too. My cousin Mark got in, too. All we had to do was work that for like six, seven months. When that was over, all we had to do was was say, all right, well, uh, I want to get on the truck, the small van. And when I when I officially started driving for the, and you didn't need a CDL too. That's another thing. You didn't, I didn't need a CDL to drive one of them little box joints. Uh, get on a small van. As soon as I did that, 
they would have put me, I'd have been in the union. As soon as I start driving, I'd have been in the union. I'd have been, I would have been a teamster. Full cover. And, and it wasn't like, I didn't know what that offered. All my insurance as a kid was through them. The 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 majority of 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 my life being taken care of from four to tw for to eighteen years old was through the Timsters. But I I messed up the the um I messed up the opportunity. You know, I don't be no 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 delivery man like my like my step follow up. I don't be you no know, delivery man. I'm be something different. Like, you know, the being different just for the sake of being different. Like that's, that's all it was, bro. You know, and that 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 I've never really thought about that uh about that mistake. Cause I was so young at the time. But when I think of all the stuff I went through in hindsight. You know, uh, you know, from from 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, dealing with homelessness, you know, uh, 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 substance abuse, you know, crazy relationships, being cocked out, locked up. I would have ducked all that if I had stayed in the stayed there. If I'd have stayed there at UPS. If I'd have stayed at UPS. Here's a fun fact about UPS. When you mess up a UPS job, it's forever. I tried to apply again at, at 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 24 and they remembered and was like, no, you're not eligible for rehire. That joint stayed forever. They'll never forget that joint. You never getting out of that. You never getting out of that, bro. But I mean, I ain't know no better, man. It is what it is. And you say, well, why does that matter? Woody, woody, woo. I'll tell you why it matters. I'm 36. I got the, uh, uh, eight, we talking about when I was 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 20, uh, 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 nine would have been 11 years. It'd have been 11 years, bro. At 29. I'm 36. 29, uh, 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 another seven years, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've been there 18 years right now, bro. I'd have been at the Teamsters Union 18 years right now. You retire at 20, 24 years. Well, the team's me, somewhere around there. I've been done. I'd have been done, bro. Finished. I'd have retired at 40. Getting 30 something hundred dollars a month. You understand? Got 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 something hundred dollars a month. And then. And then it would have been smart to go buy a truck. Then it would have been smart to go buy a truck. I'm getting retirement. My, my insurance is covered. I'd have just been playing with money. Insurance is covered. Mortgage covered. Everything would have been covered, bro. Everything. I'm hot boy right now. Everything would have been covered, man. Everything. Or I could have just, you know, I could have went and just did something else. I don't know. I could have did it. Or I could have just not worked. You understand that? I could have just not worked. Just did nothing. And been that guy that is, you know, I'd have been that guy that's, you know, one that retired dude with a nice car that, you know, just running around with the one bracelet and all that other type of stuff. I've been, I've been winning, bro. From jump. I'd have been winning from jump. You can say a lot of things about my stepfather, but he put me on and I messed it up. Which now that I look back on it was probably the reason why our relationship uh, sour.
We go. Was probably the reason our relationship sour, man. If cause we haven't, I haven't spoke to my stepfather in eleven years since my mom passed away. I bet you that's a lot of it. I'm telling you, man. One of the biggest mistakes that you can ever make in life is not listening to old heads, bro. You know, you got when you got people out here like like dirty broke old heads that that be dropping knowledge when they don't have to, because a rack of old heads don't drop nothing. They won't even talk to y'all or learn the technology to even be on the internet to do it. You get an old head, dirty broke two one five. Uh, I think it's two one five. I think so. But dirty broke, you ain't sub to him, boy. You admit you stupid, bro. You a young cat that don't know no better, bro. That's all it is. I'm telling you something I know, bro. Cause, that, cause, cause. 18, I don't listen to an old head, to my old head. I'd have been chilling, bro. I'd have been chilling. But, you know, milk is already spilled. I'm not. What is the purpose? The purpose of me having this conversation is not to dwell on the past. The purpose of me having this conversation is for you to learn from the mistakes. That's it. It's to it's to learn it's to learn from the mistakes, bro. And most dudes ain't gonna come on here and hit you with the hit you with this type of stuff because they may feel us embarrassed. I don't have to miss you, bro. I just I be honest, man. Really, my content is just being honest. Like this is what it is. This is why I messed up. Just so you can duck it, you know what I'm saying? Because most of these cats ain't gonna do that. They so worried about the image. You know, like they like 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 we real celebrities and we're not. You know what I'm saying? They keep acting like they they you know I gotta work my platform. Man, I don't care about none of that, bro. The truth is this, man. My stepfather put me on at 18 years old and I fumbled the ball, bro. And 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 and, and, and 80 percent, 80 percent of the problems I had as a young adult come from that one fumble. That you can trace it all the way back. I wouldn't have been in the, uh, in Southern Virginia to have a kid out of wedlock. The area where my 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 stepfather's job was was way better than Southern Virginia. It was safer. It was better options for mates. College degree chicks running around the whole nine, man. The whole nine. I could have stayed up there. I probably would have married a doctor, lawyer, something like that. Who knows, bro? You know? By the time I was 21, I'd have been making $70,000 a year. In the union, bro. And I fumbled it. I fumbled it, bro. And, 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 and when my kid gets to... When my kid gets to be the age to do that, He will have to prove to me that he gonna take the opportunity seriously before I even let. That's the only thing, the only spot of criticism I would give my uh, my stepfather because he didn't even explain it like it was a big deal. He didn't explain it like it was a big deal. He just was like go out there and get a job. He didn't break it down. Not that I would have listened. Not that I would have listened, bro. But he didn't break it down like if you do this, you set. He didn't break it down like that. He just like they hire and go up to get a job, because he's a he's a man of 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 my stepfather is a man of um of little words. He not gonna articulate it like that. Go up there get a job. He just think you do what I tell you to do. Simple as that. I'm looking out for you. Go up there get a job. That's simple. You hear me? So, um. That's the truth about the whole situation, bro. You know, that's the truth. If there is any 16, 17, 18 year olds watching, bro, 
If your dad is like, yo, come up here, it's a reason why he stayed there so long, bro. Like, it's like, my stepfather was there for 20 something years, man. You know, bought cars, cribs, paid for us to eat, vacations, everything. I mean, what, who do we blame besides, because the blame lies in me, period. I was 18, I was considered an adult, even though we know 18, it's not an adult, but it, I was 18. So the blame lies on me, but who do we blame for the influence? You can blame TV, you can blame whatever you want to blame. The truth is, somebody stayed there from 18 years old. There's cats that's probably watching that's been at their good job since 18. You hear me? Someone stay there. That's the truth, man. You know? There's cats that stayed there that went in the military at 17 years old till they retired. That that, you know, because most people, they a lot of people fumble their 20s, bro. They fumble it. Badly. They fumbled a 20. They either incarcerated or they popped a bunch of kids out. They can't find a certain job. They messed their credit. All type of stuff. But some people don't mess that joint up, man. They go 18 and they just stick there. They just stick to it. Before they even know what it socially means to be at a good job yet. They just keep going to that just that's, that's, that's their job. They just keep going to it. Before it's glamorous, before it means something, before anything, they just keep going to that job. Before, before, before any of the chicks in their social age group even start coveting dudes with good jobs, you hear me? Before they even do that, they just go and they stick. And those are man, those are the real MVPs, bro. Those are the real MVPs of the whole game. Is the cats that go in, that listen to their father. Because even when Dirty Broke tells his story, his dad got him or put him on. Those dudes go so much further. It's like almost wasting your, you're wasting your, your, uh, you're wasting your, 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 how do I put this? You're wasting your opportunity and privilege of having a father in your life. You're wasting it. Listen, we're going to talk about this on the live, but all the lives are only on Twitch. And I heard seen somebody, oh, he'll be back in a month. No, I'm not. Only recorded videos coming to YouTube. All the live, the burning mile shows, the calling in, all that's on Twitch. You ain't on Twitch, you ain't seeing it, period, bro. I'll drop a two, three minute clip, that's it. But these are two, three hour long um, lives. Y'all know how the game go with the lives. And I'm taking all the lives off my channel. Today, I'm going in there and I'm taking them all down. And putting them on Patreon. Patreon, which is New Regime ENT Patreon. I'm putting it on Patreon. And that's the only place you can see it. I'm taking all lives off. And you think, oh, well, the lives from Burning Mountain. No, I'm need all lives that ever been. I'm going to the live tab on YouTube. And I am unlisting all lives. They should have never been on the channel in the first place. And it's just only going to be recorded videos when I have these conversations that I want to have. That's it. And I'm dropping um, one video a week on Friday. One video a week on Friday. No super batching. I ain't doing none of that, bro. What I'm doing now is going for quality over quantity. I'm not dropping a bunch of stuff on here. One video a week. Period. Don't do drugs. Be happy. And I hope this conversation went to somebody and, and it touched them in a certain way. And uh, I hope there's a young person on here who's 20, 18, 19, 20 years old that hears this and goes to their uh, uh, father or stepfather or uncle, whoever's taking up our granddad who's taking up that... uh mantle in your life and say, you know, uh, you know, I was listening to TB and I, I'm thinking, you know, tell me about your career and how I can get into it. And they may be ex-military and, so and they can get, and you need to go in something that a family member that cares about you have done so they can 
They can guide you through it and you're not just going into the fog alone. I hope you take advantage of that as a young man. I really do. Because when you about 15, 16 years later, it's going to bite you in the butt, bro. And you gonna, are you already bit? You just don't know it. And if you're someone who messed up an opportunity that that father figure in your life gave you, you need to go back and apologize, bro. And say, I was, I was too stupid to realize what you did for me. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. That's real talk. You new to this channel, I hope you sub, hit the like button, and hit the notification button. If you want to see me live and converse with me and all that type of stuff, go to Twitch, Burning Miles. The link will be below. Do not do drugs. Stay off of alcohol and try to do better.